Caleb Brewer is a truly a hero. I mean, he really is. I always said, you know, ordinary people who do extraordinary things, and they are an extraordinary family. Give a warm welcome to the United States Army, Sergeant First Cross, Caleb Brewer, Ashley, Evelyn, and Emily. In 2005, Caleb felt the call to duty and joined the United States Army. In 2012, he graduated and earned the coveted Green Beret. On his 31st birthday, he stepped on a pressure plate improvised explosive device, an IED. As a result of that blast, Caleb suffered bilateral leg amputations, severe infections, blood clots, and blood loss from the blast. Through RISE, we are building mortgage-free, specially adapted smart homes across the country. The names listed on the banner behind me and the names on that banner right there represent a true testament to the great things that can happen when great organizations come together for good. Wow. To see them walk into a home like this where he will have independence just makes me very happy. Look at us with Gary Sinise on the bench. For all of you in this community, you are getting just a really wonderful neighbor in this family. One of the second order effects of why RISE is, I think, so important for the foundation um, is it really bonds the community. Yeah, without the community's help, um, it, it just wouldn't have been possible. We didn't know anything about the Gary Sinise Foundation and didn't really know what they did for our veterans. So being a millennial, the first thing I did was jump on Google and try to figure out what the Gary Sinise Foundation stood for. Over 90% of the money that they raise and support, to support their mission and their cause. We wanted to make sure that, that any, any donations or anything that we were, uh, we were able to give to the organization was actually going to support the, the mission uh, instead of instead of going to support uh, the administration and fundraising activities and things like that. So it's, it's impressive. All we had to do was read about Caleb and look at him and, and Scott said, that guy's a rock star. One day I want to be him <laughs> and I, and I want to train with him and I want to do the kind of things that that guy can do. This is it. The, you know, the lot belongs to, uh, to, to Caleb and so uh, we were just delighted to be able to to donate it and to be part of, of this. It was very humbling. When you do take the tour inside of the house, you, you will see the love that actually went into building this house. From the sponsors, the builders, the Gary Sinise team, there, there is a specific love that goes into each and one of these houses. Looking at this, I can adjust my feet. I always sleep at night with a pillow under my legs because it hurts my back to sleep straight. And every morning I wake up with back pain because of that bed, so this is gonna be huge. They made the kitchen accessible for me. Look at the space. We can actually like go past each other without having one person <laughs> stop and exit. They have shelving that pulls down and that I can access it from my wheelchair. They have a microwave that's in a drawer mm. down near the bottom that I can pull out. <laughs> They have a really special touch near the oven oh, where it's at my chest level and then it has a fold out platform. Let's see something really cool. I pull the thing out of the oven this. and set it on the platform so I can actually close the oven without putting it on my legs. Look at that. The shower has a heated bench so I don't have to feel that initial shock of cold. I will pull my wheelchair up right here and I'll just basically hop on over and have enough room so that I'm not feeling like I'm going to slip forward off of the side. Everything is controlled from an iPad, and if I can conserve energy and be more efficient, and I can devote that energy to spending time with Ashley or talking to my kids and teaching them something, so it's phenomenal. They also put a very personal touch in our closet wow. that is a spot where I can put on and take off my prosthetics. And they put a charging station right here for it. It's awesome. So I have to just say, I got to peek at what we helped with, and it was the amazing gym. The Gary Sinise Foundation does custom parts for each home to fit the individual's <laughs> needs. And because I've devoted a lot of my life to fitness, to helping myself and others, they had a custom gym built so that I can continue to train myself and continue to train others, other wounded warriors and other folks with disabilities to, to become more confident in life. May this home and the independence that it will restore be a daily reminder to you of the gratefulness and support of the country that you have so faithfully served. They become family to us. They're part of the Gary Sinise family. It has been my great privilege to have played a part in supporting this effort to restore your independence and to help empower you to move forward in all the great things that lie ahead. Army Strong, your pal, Gary Sinise.
If you don't ever have a situation where you need support or you know somebody needs support, you have no idea the incredible network that's out there, including the Gary Sinise Foundation. The keys to the throne. Here you go. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Enjoy it, brother. Love you. First and foremost, I want to sincerely thank Gary Sinise and the Gary Sinise Foundation for everything that you guys have done for us. It is, I, I can't describe it, it is astounding. I look down on my legs every day and I say, you know what? When he said that, uh, his legs. This is a deposit on America's freedom. I'm proud to have made a deposit. Wow. Pretty big deposit, what do you think?